Bert Henkler's mum was a product of the Gympie gold fields. They came to Bundaberg uh, early in the 1890s and set up home in a little cottage in Gavin Street, number 69, called Woodbine Villa. Uh, there the whole family grew up. Bert was the eldest. She was very fond of her family, uh, very fond. And when Bert started his glider trials, Mrs. Hinkler was right in there. She uh, also went to Monrepo Beach. The Hinklers had a buggy. And uh, the idea was that they put the uh, harness, the glider, up to the back of the buggy. They'd go down to Monrepo Beach and there they'd camp for the weekend, Mrs. Hinkler included. Probably to keep an eye on the boys to see that they didn't get up to too much larrikinism. But in the main, she was there when Bert made his first glider flight along with Mamie, her uh, eldest daughter. But that was just part of the early life of Bert Hinkler and her middle age. <clears throat> Back here in 1921, when Bert arrived, Mrs. Hinkler was out in the paddocks gathering grass for her cow because in her backyard she had a very, very wonderful veggie garden and she supplied vegetables to most of the neighbourhood. Um, and it was there that when Bert flew over, she took off her hat and waved to Bert. And, oh, when he arrived, well, that was a special day. Then later on, when I was a young man, or a young boy really, looking um, for pocket money, I used to run messages in North Bundaberg. And it was there in Thorne's shop that I met Mrs. Hinkler for the first time. She was a rather tall lady and wore a, wore a long black dress and she used to occasionally hand out a lolly or two, of which I was the recipient. And so were some of the other kids around the areas. But the one thing she couldn't stop talking about was her Bertie, the famous man Bert Hinkler.